People, they see me in a wheelchair and they think, oh, poor guy, poor fellow, oh, he struggles with this and that and the other. Ernie Johnson is a man on a mission. I was up one of those sleepless nights and I was just up on the internet looking for something to do, just looking for something different. And I ran across a wheelchair bodybuilding. The Conway native has been confined to a wheelchair for the past 17 years with paralysis in all four limbs. The result of what he calls a freak accident during a high school football scrimmage, but the disability isn't defining him. Once you stop giving up and you start fighting, there are a ton of things that able-bodied people and people who have disabilities can do. I guess it's the athlete and the competitor in me. And that competitive spirit propelled him into the world of wheelchair bodybuilding. I've always been active. I've, I've never stopped being an athlete. Um, but the competition aspect of it, I really, really enjoyed. It was exciting to be competing again against other people. He's only been at it a few months, but the support from fans is already overwhelming. It felt good. I'm not gonna lie, when I, when I got on stage, I didn't even hear my music start for my individual routine because of how loud it was in the auditorium. His biggest supporter, though, is his wife, Megan, who's right by his side when he trains. I'm just really happy to see him competing again, um, even though he's never given up on things in his life. I know being a true athlete that just just being back in a competitive arena is really what fuels his fire. And while he may be inspiring people all over the world, he's staying true to himself. My biggest challenges in life aren't because of the wheelchair. And so when people see me and they say that I'm inspirational, it is a compliment and I do appreciate it. But I just try to be the best me that I can be. In Conway, Alex Heaton, ABC 15.